Hey gang, this is Charles. Uh, I'm in Nashville hanging out with the Gibson folks, with Al John specifically, and he's going to tell us about this beautiful Gibson Jumbo. Um, kind of a living time machine, right? Absolutely. This takes you back to 1934, the original and very first Jumbo. It was the original Jumbo uh, that came out in that time. There was no other guitar that was as big as this. And the story about this guitar is very cool because there was a collector uh, in North Carolina that had serial number 507A and they just went back and they said you know what we've got one of these guitars we want to replicate it to the nth degree and they did exactly that they took exacting measurements of the neck the finish the bridge everything about it the internal bracing of it and it's spot on just as we did in 1934 and there were only a little bit of those made in 1934 35 a little bit in 36 so it's very rare of course that was during the depression so not, a lot of people couldn't afford it so for the benefit of our readers explain it, how this sort of fits into the lineage because some will be uh, familiar with the advanced jumbo and what that ultimately became the j45 and all that where does this fit into the, the grand scheme of things it's the first it's the original jumbo and because it came out in 1934, very limited uh, quantities, we didn't put out the J45, the icon that it was until 1942. So this was a precursor to set everything off. Round shoulder, really nice in terms of the thickness and in the body. And of course, this is ultimately would become something like an advanced jumbo or J45. So this was basically the grandfather of all of that. Any other differences uh, in comparison to those guitars that it's got the standard X bracing. It's got the anorotic uh, red spruce top. Uh, also, check this out. The binding is a lot thinner than what you would find in your typical J45. So we went back and really got the thinness and the color proper to, properly done. Check out the heel. The heel Pretty thin. It's really thin. I mean, it's a dovetail neck joint. All the every one of the uh, the guitars that Montana does is all high glue neck set. But the internal bracing is all done in high glue as well and a v-neck shape profile too so it's it's very cool i mean you know we've been doing parlor guitars prior to that a lot of nick lucas's uh el lg2s so this right here you know it just it takes you back in time as you said and look at this beautiful burst check it out it's got this reddish hue yeah, to it back here reddish hue, and it continues throughout the entire back and sides of course mahogany on that and of course your vintage sunburst the iconic vintage sunburst of a gibson the bridge is also very small, very thin. There's no belly on it. And you can see here, all the way at the very top, you've got the original Gibson logo, a very, you know, very script kind of, uh, you know, logo. A lot thinner than even the script logos that folks might be used to. Absolutely, and it wasn't screened on either. So, you know, that's Mother of Pearl, very cool. And of course you have the tuner, the tuners as well. We'll get a shot of that. And you can see the open gear tuners in there. Another great thing about this guitar is if you look inside, there it's hard to get a shot from in here, but there the, the cloth stays are in there too. And originally the cloth supports were there because you know the original guitars, you know, would be left out and they would crack, and those stays actually prevented them from the cracks becoming any larger. So we have that, and of course there's a, the neck block, and it's also hand shaped and done. It's curved instead of flat, and it's hand stamped as well. No, you didn't fake anything. All the details are down to the the last. And it's an opportunity for people that wanted to get the original Jumbo to have it in limited quantities. We're only doing 100 of them. So, you know, your Gibson dealers are going to be able to get, uh, you know, get this and the consumers will be able to get them real soon. Yeah. Let's uh, find a place to sit down. Maybe you can, uh, we can listen for a second. Thanks for taking us on a little tour of this beauty. We'll see you again soon. This is Charles signing off from the Gibson booth at Nashville NAM 2013. Cheers.